Good morning, everybody. I am so, so excited to let you know that we have finally broke ground on the new community center land. I know what you're thinking. You fundraised for this in December and you are just now breaking land in May. Yes. And the reason for that is one, first of all, we've had a lot of projects happening in the farm that we started while we were waiting to import the playground and the fencing. And we just really needed to finish those projects up before we spread our guys any thinner than they already were. And the second reason that we've taken so long is because of these trees. And you may be asking yourself, why would the trees delay this project? Well, when we were wanting to purchase land for the community center, we knew we wanted the playground to be in a space that had some shade so that it wouldn't be too hot. And there aren't many trees left in our village, but this specific spot has some. Most land in Haiti is, or in our area at least, is broken up into one acre plots. And so we knew that we wanted this specific acre that had some trees in it. But the problem was that the owner of this acre didn't live close to us. He lived quite a bit further away. And so it took a long time for us to get um, appointments set up with him and the negotiations were harder because they were more spread out. But finally, two weeks ago, we signed on this last piece of land. We'd already bought all the pieces all around it, but we finally signed on this last piece of land and that meant we could start putting in the fence. So over the past week, or yeah, the past week, Kato and our team have been working on um, putting in all the corner posts and now they started putting in the fence posts and they're about halfway done with the fence posts and they will be finishing that up hopefully today and then we will start stringing up the fence. So I'm gonna turn it over to Kato and let him talk to you a little bit about what's going on and I'm also gonna just walk you around the new land and show you what our goals are for it. Moi c'est Ricardo et c'est principal coach et dans le programme New Road et moi suis responsable pour nous faire toute préparation et qui était nécessaire avant de nous déplacer le grillage dans nos nouveau terrain. Et moi pense que dans le mois fini, le programme est même niveau le plus bel. Avon is standing is where the new playground is gonna go. We're hoping to be able to squeeze it in here without having to cut down any of these trees which would be pretty awesome. We eventually want to build a front wall along the whole or a brick wall along the whole front here and then this is a walking corridor here so we'll build it up this way about past that little tree a little ways and built into the wall right there is where we're gonna put the soccer depot. And so that of course is gonna store all of our soccer equipment. And it's also gonna have a bunch of picnic tables and a little outdoor covered area where our coaches can mentor the kids and do Bible lessons and pass out snacks. And this area right in front of me here is where we're gonna build a swing set. And we actually imported enough metal to build 16 swings there. 
and Nick and Pupe are gonna do the fabrication of that themselves, which will be pretty awesome. Behind me here is where we're gonna build a pavilion. We actually don't have the funds for this yet, but it's gonna be, it's gonna have one small room where I hope to have it full of Legos and arts and crafts supplies and the basketballs and just all sorts of board games and card games for the kids to do. And then underneath the pavilion, which will be all open air, there will be a bunch of tables where the kids can just gather around and do these activities. It's also where we can host um, like a no means no training for girls and women in our village or if we wanna have any other sort of programs, we can um, do them in this space for this time being. That's our front entrance over there along the wall. And from there, there's gonna be a chain link fence that comes down this whole stretch here, past the pavilion, and then right behind the, right behind the swing set. You can see right behind the basketball court is our current property line. The acre behind us is for sale and they've already approached us about purchasing it, but we're not at that point yet. We would like to buy it at some point because that's where we ideally see building the computer lab and the library when the time is right. If we're able to purchase it sooner, we'd put a community garden on it, uh, mainly fruits that we would provide to the players in our various programs. So this whole area here is what we will use for our soccer program. We will have one permanent soccer field that we use for game days. But for practice, we'll have smaller fields that move on a weekly basis so that we're not wearing out our fields and we can keep them in the best shape possible. Thank you to everybody who's helped make this dream of building a community center in our village a reality. We are so excited to be moving forward with this project and we hope that you check back into our channel every few weeks to see progress on it. Our goal is to have this center up and running by the fall of this year and so be sure to check for more videos, subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates and check our Facebook for our daily updates. Have a good day.